Hi there, I'm Sophia. I'm the Student Support Coordinator at Wittelbock University of Applied Sciences. In this video, I'm going to talk about the level registration in the Netherlands. You arrive in the Netherlands and you need to take some steps for your level registration in this country. Collect your residence permit card, register at the municipality, take the TB test and open a bank account. In this video, I'm going to explain each of these steps for you. A residence permit card allows you to reside in the Netherlands as a non-EU student for the duration of your study in this country. And you have to collect your residence permit card before the expiration of your MVB. The IND office informs us once your residence permit card is ready to be collected, then you will receive an email from front desk team along with the instructions of how to make appointments and where to collect your residence permit card. Wittenberg students who study at the main campus of Appledore need to collect a residence permit card in Zwolle near Appledore and those students who live in Amsterdam and study in Amsterdam campus need to collect a residence permit card at the IND office in Amsterdam. After collecting your residence permit card, you need to send a copy of your card to the register department via email. And please remember to take your passport and appointment code with you to the IND office. service number, a unique registration number for everyone who lives in the Netherlands. If you intend to live in the Netherlands for more than four months, you must register with your municipality. This is a mandatory procedure, respective of your nationality. For students who live in Appledore, uh, the appointment with the municipality is arranged by Wittenborg Frontus team. And those students who live in Amsterdam or other cities need to make this appointment by visiting uh, the respective municipality website. For the registration with the municipality, you need some documents, a valid proof of identity, your passport or your ID card, an accommodation agreement, and a registration letter which is sent to you from the Registrar Department of Wittenborg. After the registration at the municipality, you receive your BSN number uh, posted to your address after five working days. Uh, keep the BSN number safe with you as you need it throughout your stay in the Netherlands. Please send the copy of your uh, BSN number paper uh, to the front desk team via email. As an international student, you are allowed to open a bank account in the Netherlands at ABN AMRO, ING or Rabobank. Uh, to open a bank account, you need to first make an appointment with the bank. So, uh, please visit the website of the bank before you want to go there for the instruction on how to make the appointment. To open a bank account, you need some documents, namely your passport, your residence permit card, your BSN number, accommodation agreement, and your registration letter. After your first visit at the bank, your bank card and your PIN code will be posted to your address separately, and you are not allowed to give your bank card or your PIN code to other people. The TB test uh, is an X-ray of your chest uh, to check for tuberculosis. This test is not applied to all nationalities. International students from certain countries uh, at the risk of tuberculosis need to take a compulsory TB screening within three months after their arrival in the Netherlands to keep their residence permit. Once the front desk team receives your BSN number, the appointment will be arranged for you to take the TB test. All 
students in the Netherlands must have health insurance during their stay in the Netherlands. As a Wittenberg student, you are insured by AON Insurance. For more information about the coverage of the AON Insurance, you can visit aonstudentinsurance.com. For more information about any of the topics mentioned in this video, check our FAQ page on Wittenberg Online.